Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Hello, Albert. Hey, Jeff. How you doing? All right. You know, um, Johnny Fowler took me on as a client. Yeah, by the way, I heard that on Howard 100 News while we were what on vacation. What are you going to do? Eric the Actor fired uh, Johnny Frado as his oh, agent. Oh, really? I didn't know Jeff had signed with him. Yep. I don't know why Eric fired him. Jeff the Actor from now on. So your name is Jeff the Actor? Yes. I'll go with that. So now we got to get you parts on Jeff. Yeah, well, now that Johnny represents Jeff and <laughs> Eric no longer is interested, maybe he'll be Jeff the actor. We'll get him on some shows. Is Eric getting out of show business, or is he just uh, sick of his current management? I don't know what's going on. but He's sick a... of the whole game, I guess. Did Johnny confide in you what happened? Because I still am not clear. No, he didn't. No. Well, how did the whole collaboration between you and Johnny start, Jeff? I got my long distance back, and I just called him on the fluke. Oh, really? On the and, fluke. Um, he said something to me about getting me gigs, and then Marianne heard the story that Eric fired Johnny. Hmm. Yeah. Well, anyway, there's a new guy in town, Jeff the Actor. Thank you, Al. All right. Whack back update. Are you willing to kiss a guy on screen? Hey. If it pays the bills. Right. There's a guy who's willing to work, I'll tell you that. What do you know about this, Shulia? You're covering this story. I first heard you break this story. I'm right in the middle of it, Howard. Yeah. What's going on? So apparently uh, Eric is shell-shocked by not being allowed on the show. Right. Ah. And he blames Johnny for it. And <laughs> Blames Johnny? What does Johnny have to do with it? Nothing. And Johnny's right. telling him, look, I'm the one reason that you may have a shot of getting back on the show. And Eric's saying, nope. I've threatened to fire you for years. I'm getting rid of you. The only way I will hire you back as my manager is if you get me a 40-foot motorhome and a van, a conversion van with a wheelchair lift on it. He what? says, ma he goes, make these two things happen, and I'll hire you back. Wow. And Johnny's just like, you know what? I think, I think I'm done. Yeah, yeah. That's not going to happen. No. That's amazing. Uh -huh. He calls him all day long, Johnny. Wow. Johnny's in meetings. He's taking care of kids he shouldn't be taking care of. <laughs> and and his head's ready to explode as it is. And then Eric gets on the phone. And then Eric's on the phone going, put on Channel 9, check out this chick. Like, that's what he calls him about. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, Jeff, you were smart. You picked up a top manager. and uh, Moving on to better things right. now, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff the actor. Yeah. All right, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There you go. I was just saying to myself, the only reason you pick up Jeff the Drunk's calls is because he has an interesting name. Right. Now he's now, now he's, he's Jeff, Jeff the actor. actor. <laughs> <laughs> and I got uh, the two of them, Eric and Johnny, calling me every day, right. relaying messages between each other through me. <laughs> They're not think... talking to each other. And Eric says maybe he says uh, Eric says he wants to look for new representation. So right. I said, well, how are they going to get in touch with you? Because you know he's not on Twitter. He, there's no way. And he says. Well, maybe they can email you, right. and then you. So now I'm involved. Yeah, I, well, I'm, I'm now. That's why Howard 100 News. You have News. nothing to do either. Sure, I'll manage it. Howard, right? Howard 100 News is the conduit. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Well, good, Shuli. Stay on top of this big story, and let's find out more. I'm on it, boss. Yeah. yeah well, just um, you know, for all those agents out there, Eric is now available. No, Jeff's available. No. Oh, for Jeff's, the agents. Oh, yes, I see. Yes. yes, Eric. Yes. Jeff has an agent. Yeah. Maybe uh, Howie's wife will represent him. <laughs> well, she represents those kids, so maybe. Uh, she uh, by the way, Eric in one of those commercials. If you want a little more Eric news, uh, Derek, the actor, the guy from Texas. Yes. Who we like. Right. He won't do our show anymore, and he left a message. On Another our, message? On our a voice last message. message? Yeah, this is a message basically saying that Derek, Derek is saying he doesn't want to be on the show anymore. Huh. Hi there, Mr. Frado. I'm leaving this message for you to give to those stern people because, you know, I've really been thinking about it. I don't like them at all. They're a bunch <laughs> of dumb fucks. They don't treat little people nicely. Little people need to be treat, treated right nice, but they don't know how to do that. Their fans are a bunch of dipshits. 
the producers the big dip shit. <laughs> and they're and the main guy, Howard, he's a big nose dip shit. And they could all go fuck themselves and go to hell. Hmm. I am done with their dumb asses. Bye. That's uh, Derek. Wow, he's certainly changed. Yeah. And he's kind of uh, much like Eric in that he thinks Gary's a dipshit and I'm a dipshit. <laughs> <laughs>